people think that I'm a tough person, I would have to assume so. I think my way of leading is unapologetic. And I think for me to kind of hold on to this safe space and this really beautiful thing that I've created with really beautiful people, uh, I have to be incredibly protective and tough. My name is Vincent Martel. I'm the founder of VAM Studio, which is a production company centered around amplifying filmmakers of color, queer filmmakers, um, filmmakers who are kind of pushing the limits on what uh, we want to say in the world. VAM started from a collective of artists and filmmakers who didn't feel seen on white dominated sets. I'm holding space for a, an entire community of people who, who are looking to me to create a really beautiful opportunity for them to succeed. I think the production company, the film industry specifically, um, isn't there. I think for them it might be a buzzword, but for us, like, diversity is just who we are. When we decided to do it ourselves, I think one thing I've learned from creating BAM is we can't wait for people to figure it out for us. We have to just go and do it and be unapologetic about that. Our scope is wide and it's become that way because people know that we can speak to our audience in the most authentic way possible. They know that our work is intentional and they know that they want to see a diverse team shooting their content. There are a lot of adversities that come with being the first to kind of do something, right? I think that journey is, is always going to be tough, especially if you are from within a marginalized community. As a person of color, as a gay black filmmaker, I constantly have to prove that I can do the job better than anyone. And VAM isn't just a production company, it's a safe space. It's also, it's a, it's a mindset on how we should function as collaborators. I've learned not to shelter my voice because I've had to do that my entire life. Toughness for you is, it's, it's, it's a shield of protection, you know? It's not necessarily a look or an image. It's, it's how are you gonna hustle and get what you want and do it with integrity. My job is to run a business. It's to create film and narratives that kind of have a social impact, but it's also to be a good person. It's also to learn how to take care of myself. Um, so no, I don't think the hustle will ever slow down. But within that hustle, I have to kind of pivot and kind of remind myself that you know, I have to take care of myself during this hustle. I have to make sure that I'm putting water back into the well so that I can give. It's a struggle that I deal with every day. Although this shit is incredibly tough, it doesn't get any easier. I'm gonna be authentically myself as much as possible. I think it's tough to kind of see yourself and lean into yourself to kind of see the best things and the worst things of you and, and accept them and present them to whoever the fuck cares. New York has always been at the epicenter of creative brilliance. Groups of artists of color and women and femmes and queer artists who are pushing the narrative in a new way. And each episode of this series will explore that in the most unapologetic way possible. I grew up a fucking screw up. Yeah, me, me. But this is my life. Let me lace my fucking boots up. Broke this hell, eat a wick of braille. My black tail works.